Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel Karma Thoughts. I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of November 2020. All right, I have already thoroughly shuffled your cards. I do want to remind you guys that this is a general reading and therefore may not resonate with everyone. Hopefully you've thrown your energy in with us by subscribing to the channel because I do focus upon the needs of my subscribers. Um, so that'll be helpful to both of us. If you want a personal reading, there are directions in the box below and I would love to help you with that. What we're going to do, Sagittarius, is we're going to pull the general energies for you for the month of November. And then we're going to pull a separate spread for your career, finance, and money. Um, and then we're going to pull another spread for your love for the entire month. All right? So let's go ahead and begin. Spirit, can I have the energies for Sagittarius? General energies for the month of November. All right. So you have the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Hierophant. And the Four of Pentacles. Spirit, can I have the general, or can I have the um, energies for love, career, and finance for Sagittarius, month of November? Okay. You have the Chariot in reverse. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Swords and the Magician in reverse. Okay. Spirit, can I have the energies and love for Sagittarius for the month of November? You have the Knight of Swords, the Star, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Alright, bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So, with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Sagittarius, I feel like um, there's something that you feel is not really working out the way you would like. Or, it could also be that you're kind of pulled back and you're not really putting a lot of work into something. Um, for those of you that have, um, you know school or work you could also feel like things there are not going the way that you would like for them to all right we have coming into power savoring pleasure and let's go ahead and shuffle again for the last one But there is a, a sense of really not putting in the work to something or or something not working out. And that's underlying the the entire month. And then in the relationship, you have mending bridges. Okay. So let's go ahead now and look at the general energies. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, you may be dealing with an earth sign. If so, that would be a... Uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, um, but it may be somebody that just in, has these uh, signs in their chart, or it could be that you are just really focused upon yourself. This is a card of self-care. Um, in the Tarot, the Queen of Pentacles is the lower vibration of the Empress, so, you know, this is somebody who is beginning to understand their self-worth, um, which makes a lot of sense because you have um, the card from Spirit here is coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. And that's what we have here with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is beginning to develop and know their self-worth. They are um, feeling abundant and feeling as if growth is all around them. Um, I will also say for those of you who have children, your focus will be more upon the children in the home. And if you don't have children, you're just focusing a lot on self-care. Well, why is this? Well, because we have the Five of Pentacles. So at some point here, um, if you have not already been, there is a feeling of having been abandoned, having been left out. So there's something here with an ending of a commitment that you're dealing with. And I feel like going into the second week of November, you're going to start feeling that a little bit more keenly. 
and you're going to be looking at how does that relate to your self-worth you're trying to figure all of this out um, so the second and third week I think you're going to be dealing with that I feel like um, there was a commitment of some kind that ended here and I feel like that is leaving you feeling a, a little abandoned a little cold towards love at this time and you know there's something that you're just not quite able to let go of. It's still kind of in your energy, even by the end of the month. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's a feeling of generosity here, um, seeking to find balance, but not quite being balanced as of yet. Um, but a lot of self-care. So you're going into the month trying to come into this feeling of self-care, this feeling of empowerment, why is the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, this was a relationship that that ended, and you felt abandoned in this relationship. Um, I, I feel as if that it was a commitment that ended, and I feel like in the second and third months, you're going to really struggle, particularly in um, months, in the second and third weeks. Um, particularly in the third week and that's generally what around the holiday time so I feel like um, whatever this is this commitment that ended I feel like you're not fully able to walk away from it you're still holding on to this commitment and I feel like you're gonna feel it more keenly in that third week than you you have coming into the month um, why is the four of Pentacles here All right, so we end the month with, you know, some kind of healing taking place. Um, there is a spirit of cooperation and kind of leaving toxic behaviors behind. So whatever this is, I feel like you're coming to terms with it. You haven't quite let it go. Um, there's a possibility that, that there may be some kind of discussion with this person that you um, ended this commitment with too. Now, for some of you, um, for some of you, it, it could be job related, but it feels more relationship, to be honest with you. I do feel like you may have communication with this person in that last week of November, though. And if so, I feel like the communication is not going to be toxic. I feel like it's actually going to be healthier than, than uh, what, what it has been in the past. Whatever this is that ended, though, I think you're going to struggle, particularly in the third week, some in the second week, and I do think there will be communication with this person, um, but you're going to be approaching this from a better viewpoint. You're going to be stepping into your power, and I feel like you're not the same person that you were in that relationship. I feel like things have changed for you, Sagittarius. Let's look at your career sector, uh, career and finances. For those of you who are in school, this could also be school related. Um, so we have the chariot in the reverse for the first week. So there's a sense of not being able to move things along the way you want to. You may be feeling a little frustrated um, in the first week of November. Then we have the 10 of wands in the reverse come the second week. So I feel like at that point, the confusion clears and you're kind of able to let go of whatever it is that's frustrating you. So things begin to alleviate and become a little clearer, a little bit easier to, to handle in the second week. Moving into the third week in your career in finance, we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is really good. It's like um, good communication, uh, clarity, understanding. So why is the Ace of Swords here? Oh yeah. And I feel like it, it's going to put you in a good place financially. You're gonna be feeling independent. You're going to be feeling um, a lot a lot more successful so you have the nine of pentacles and that is a card of independence it's the card of financially doing well um, and all on your own you know really kind of stepping into your power here um, so it looks like whatever is kind of you feel held back in that the first week of november begins to clear up by the second week and by the third week you have just a lot of clarity um, communication is good it's like everything it just begins to even out for you um, although we do have the magician in reverse for the final week why is that why is the magician in reverse yeah so there is some kind of offer at the end of the month that just is, didn't follow through something that you thought was going to be really stable 
um, you were hoping for did not come through. Um, I feel as if you're trying to manifest that. Um, don't let that get you down, Sagittarius, because I, I don't, I don't see that it's not going to come through. I just see that it hasn't yet. And whatever it is, is really small, but there might be some slight disappointment. It's not a big deal. It's nothing huge, um, but there is gonna be some slight disappointment in the final week of November. Something that you thought was, uh, you, you would really work towards. You were trying to get it in line. And I think you really felt like you, you had it in the bag. You had it in line. Um, you were feeling good about it, but then it didn't come through. So that's in the final week of November, but don't let that get you down because, you know, the rest of the month looks actually pretty good. You start out a little slow, a little frustrated. Um, second and third weeks look really good and a slight disappointment in the fourth week, but it's nothing that is totally destabilizing. And Spirit's advice to you is savoring pleasure. So fully embracing bliss in your life. So you know it looks as if things are going to be going pretty well for you in the financial and the work areas um, now in your love life we have the knight of swords so the knight of swords is somebody rushing in to tell a truth so is that you or is that the other person let's see okay so this is somebody from your past yeah, somebody from your past who, you know, may have may have withheld emotions from you in the past, um, may reapproach you. They may be coming in with some kind of a truth. Um, and we also have mending bridges. So mending bridges says I heal rifts and I am a mender. So I feel like there's going to be communication with someone from your past in the first week of November. Um, I I feel like it's going to kind of catch you off guard because you're over here kind of focusing upon yourself, kind of, you know, feeling good about you, trying to reach balance, and this person may come out of nowhere. This is somebody who in the past, um, they withheld their emotions from you, and they're going to communicate with you out of the blue. Now, in the second week, we have the star. So, the star is all about healing. Where did that go? The star is all about healing, and we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So, what is healing? Well, you're healing these reoccurring thoughts that have been going around and around your head with regard to this person. So, I feel like, you know, the communication with this person is something that you did desire, you hoped for it, and I feel like it's going to alleviate you know these feelings because I think that you felt very abandoned by this person in the past and I feel like you know they're communicating with you out of the blue like this is going to alleviate some of those feelings all right so we also have the seven of Pentacles in reverse why is the seven of Pentacles here okay so they're going to tell you something that you did not know um, I feel like there's going to be something that um, was kind of kept from you, and I feel like it's going to, you know, kind of come out. And Or there may be something here that is being kept secret, um, but it's kind of putting you a little bit in the dark. And it has to do with the ending of this, this commitment. Yeah. Something you didn't know, something that you're a little bit in the dark about. I feel like things did not, um, they didn't pan out the way you thought they were going to. And so, there's, there is just something here that's not quite being, being brought out into the light. Um, in addition, this person that you're dealing with, we have the moon. So, that, that is water, so that's specifically a cancer. But I feel like there is just something here that with the Seven of Pentacles, it didn't pan out the way you thought it was going to. The commitment ended, but you haven't completely walked away from it. Um, and so I think that, you know, throughout the month of November, there's going to be definitely an air of 
this person, communicating with this person. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why? Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Death card. And we have the Lovers. So you start and you end your reading with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you are going to communicate with this person. Um, there's going to be a lot of communication. It's actually going to be healthy and cooperative communication by the end of the month. Um, but I do feel like something is going to transform. So you're either, there's either a transformation, um, there's either a transformation in this connection or the connection will will go ahead and end. You know, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, so I feel like whatever this is, is not within divine timing. I see that you um, begin the month with focusing on self. I see you ending the month focusing on self. Um, I feel almost like there's something here that is going to allow you to let this relationship go, even though you do have a lot of emotions for this person. You feel as if this person may be a soulmate, but I feel like you're going to let this person go. I feel like you're going to let this person go because you're going to choose you. You're going to do what's in your best interest, but it's going to be done in a way I feel that is going to be healthy. It's almost as if you, in the past, felt somehow bound to this person. And I feel as if you, whatever is, whatever comes out here, whatever this communication is, I feel like it's going to leave you feeling free. Like you are no longer bound. But I don't see this being a big blow up. I see this as being done in a healthy and cooperative manner with both parties. I feel like there's going to be some kind of closure or resolution. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Wands in reverse, which means putting an end to conflict. So, let's get an angel card. Um, and just looking at, at your cards, I feel like there is going to be some kind of disappointment in your financial and work area towards the end of the month. But in your relationship area, I feel as if I feel as if there is somebody who is going to re-enter your life in November. I feel like this person, there was a commitment that was broken with this person in the past. You weren't able to let go of it fully, even though you wanted to and you tried to. I feel like, you know, this person is going to communicate with you out of the blue, early November. And I feel like you're not going to see it coming because you're focused on you. There is going to be communication back and forth. It's going to be cooperative. It's actually going to be healthy communication. And it's going to be something that you're going to be happy about. You you did hope for this. It's going to let some of your fears and your, your feeling of abandonment, it's going to release that. However, it's you're going to realize that this is not what you thought it was. You're going to you're going to see that this was not exactly what you thought it was. It failed to meet your expectations, and I feel like you're going to then be able to let this let this go. All right. So, a card of oh, well, you got two. So, we're going to take them. The first card you have is see only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. And that's what Spirit's saying here, mending bridges. So I feel like, Sagittarius, that you're a very loving person, and I feel like, you know, Spirit is guiding you to, you know, see the love in the situation, not, not the, you know, feelings that, where you feel that things went wrong. And then your final card, it says, reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. The balance, this balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. So like I said, you begin the month focused upon you, and you will end the month again focused upon you. 
So don't forget to give yourself a little reward there, Sagittarius, for lessons learned. All right. So I hope this has been helpful, Sagittarius. Um, please drop me a comment and let me know what's going on. I do read all your comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Like and share the video to help it circulate. And until I see you next time, namaste.